stumble but never fall. Hey T.O., we got Shay Noir today. Roll the intro, baby. We talking about all of it. We talking about politics. We cranking the volume on all these albums. Then we can talk about the outcome. Live on Marcus Talks. Marcus Talks. Marcus Talks. Marcus Talks. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Marcus, and today we got some Shay Noir. Now, Shay Noir, if you don't know, is up and coming female up out of Griselda, the East Coast, New York uh, rap crew. I don't know if they're a label or whatnot. I just got put onto them recently. But Shay Noir is the first album that I ever reacted to on this channel. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link that down below in the description. Today, we have As God Intended, Shay Noir, produced by Apollo Brown. I don't know much about Apollo Brown, but I did some research. Sounds like he's a producer out there. So I'm sure the beats are gonna be banging. I know from Shay Noir, these bars are gonna be hitting. So I'm not even gonna waste no more time with this. Y'all ready? Let's get into some Shay Noir. All right, this first track is called Antisocial, featuring Black Soul. Let's get into it. It seems to me, God is our responsibility. Yeah, that's right. And God's only hope is us. If hmm. we don't make it, he ain't gonna make it either. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Apollo Brown, I already see you, boy. <laughs> To look for deals, work for myself, can't explain to you how good it feels. Got yeah. to taste of my own medicine, so I took the pill, can't walk in my shoes. You Already she hitting with the bars, but I gotta say the hook is banging. If that's Black Soul on the hook, that hook was beautiful. It was really well put together, uh, very cohesive. I love the melody on that. Shay coming in with the bars though, what'd she say? I have a taste of her own medicine, so she took some pills or something like that. I don't know, man. I'm gonna run it back a little bit, but Shay Noir be going in. Can't explain to you how good it feels. Got a taste of my own medicine, so I took the pill. Can't walk mm. in my shoes. You niggas can't even foot the bill. I make music you can ride to. Smoke, cause you chill. Yeah. Type of music that you gotta be from the hood to feel. For my hustlers in the kitchen yeah. that's trying to cook a meal. Kitchen counter full of coke. Look like the sugar spill. Man, she said, my music's the type that you have to be from the hood to feel. And then she goes in about why you gotta be from the hood to be feeling this kind of stuff. Now, I'm not from the hood, but what I can tell you is I know about these types of experiences. It's unfortunate, but people go through these kind of things. Courtrooms, funerals, and drugs is just a real regular part of life. They implement gun control so that they can't protect themselves, but you know what? I'm getting into a whole other thing, so let's keep it going. Start, treat the game like cops, treat a nigga, won't be satisfied oh, till I kill them all. You can't get me in the corner, not speaking. My niggas flexing, no, I'm gold shape, a loud mouth talk, I'm never moving, so you can't get me in the corner. Yeah, playlist. Let me tell you, this is a beautiful way to start the album with a nice, slow intro, you know, dig deep a little bit. This going on the Deep Cuts playlist, man. I'm linking all the playlists down below. Beautiful way to start the album. I love this song. All right, track two, we got Blood is Thicker. Let's get it. They called me the ghetto, the hood, the checks, the trenches, the slums. I created fatherless homes with menace and thugs. My straight bullets then took life from kids while they're young. A white man's world, so I never get visits from Trump. Street corners, liquor stores, drugs, and three cops. That's where these niggas getting wet up, caught at my G spot. Cause triggers is my clip. I bust when gas is spraying with their trigger fingers. Cause that's how I get masturbated. That's nasty. Oh, she is so descriptive with the adjectives and the similes and the metaphors and the descriptive words, man. It paints a picture in your head. It's nasty like she talking about relating uh, sexual acts to pulling the trigger on a gun. Crazy. Talking about how she gonna murderize your whole family and the people at the waking. Get out of here, man. This is crazy. She's a goat. Young niggas, take a Glock and point it towards your eye. Wet it up. Make it block. No, Turn to a water ride. Hey. Child, hit the block. Get you from Puerto Rich. Witness mama getting high. She like to snort a sniff. Big brother in the streets. He flipping quarter bricks. Little sis in the club. She making porno flicks. Father's missing this shit. Close your eyes when I speak. It's like watching a flick when I spit. She's nasty, man. I'm telling you. Woo. Blood thicker than water, man. That's another one. Playlist. 
Before we go any further, I just want to say that I love starting every track with like a little skit intro thing. Keeps you involved and it makes for a whole cohesive piece from front to back. Apollo Brown is killing this man. I gotta run that back. That food plate. Oh, come on, hold on a second. Too much on my plate, you might choke if you try it. Bit off more than I can chew, so now my goal is to die. There's too much on my plate. You would choke if you try it. Bit off more than I could chew, so now my wasn't beside it. <laughs> my plate, you might choke Ooh, if you try it. That's fire, man. Chew, so now my goal is to die. The wingspan, yeah. the life begins with sent transcends, but like a lens. We numb the pain with violins, a biker dance. Fading like drunk heads and pigeons on a power line. Absolutely flawless verse there from Black Thought. You can't be mad at that at all, man. I Ain't no reaction in the middle of it because you just got to listen to what they're saying sometimes, man. That was great. Love it. That's Hustle Don't Give, Shea Noir featuring Black Thought. All right, this next song is called Money Oriented. Track four, Money Oriented. Let's get it. Chase the money, but never pray for money. You only pray for wisdom, cause nobody can take that from me. You can always tell right. the niggas who ain't used to making money. That bar right there just alludes to the fact that you gotta take the knowledge over the money. Sometimes the money isn't everything. Yes, we're grinding for the money. Yes, that's what makes the world go round, but sometimes knowledge is more important so you can go get more money. But this money make my life feel like freedom. Put all the clothes on my back with designer labels. Five-star meals sitting on my plate. You help me by the table. If it's where this money don't matter. Can buy my way into heaven when he come for the rapture, huh? She said, Granny said you can't make money grow from trees from the earth. But if you could, I could understand why Eve bit it first. That's nasty, man. She's got them bars, I'm telling you. This is fire, man. I fuck with it. Is that every song going playlist so far? All right, we're four for four so far, but we got 14 songs. So we got 10 more songs hitting it up. This next one's called 12 Hours. Let's get into it. Call up my girls, I'm trying to get cute. Let's go and paint the town. Let's meet up at my place around 12. Still gotta take a shower. It's gonna take an hour to do my hair. And to do my makeup, I'ma find an outfit to wear. By the time I hang up, you click. She talking about going out with her girls, getting the makeup on and doing her hair. I don't think this is gonna go the way we think it's gonna go. We'll see though. I'm telling you, the way that she paints pictures and tells stories is unmatched, man. I don't know someone else coming up in the game that paints a picture like that, man. It's perfect. Said it's time to get lit. Let's go. Hey, it's time to get lit. Oh, she got her man. Oh, Shay's got another song like this called Today on her previous album, and that song goes crazy. But again, the way that she's painting a picture and talking about her relationships and her man and going in. Goat status, I'm telling you. My life was you, I must have been squeezing too tight. I heard a shot body drop to the ground and he bleeding. Lisa panicked, ran a body that's screaming. Dropped to my knees like I ain't mean to kill him. Now I'm searching his body for evidence to confirm if he was sleeping with him. Damn, I don't think he was lying. To my surprise, I found the ring in his pocket. Oh, oh, man. So, if he really got with her friend to get her a ring, why would you do it at three in the morning, going at home? On a, 
it's way too late. What are you talking about? Like three in the morning is crazy. But that, that's an amazing song right there. Oh my God, 12 hours, man. That one caught my attention right there. That's a great song. Damn. Well, this one's called, <laughs> ooh, I don't know how you're gonna follow that one up, Shay. That's five for five. Uh, we're at Hold It Down featuring Ty Ferris. Let's get it. I see you on the sample, Apollo. Yeah. I like that. Come from a city where niggas poor and no crime is soft. My team treat me like the boss. Weight of the world on my shoulders, it made me sore. What she said there at the beginning, I'm from where niggas poor and ain't no crime gets solved. That's what they talking about when they talking about defund the police, man. Is that the police, first of all, they show up after the crime is committed and usually their success rate with booking the actual murderer under 50%. And you know, if your pizza man was under 50%, you'd be pretty pissed off. What's the point of giving guns if they don't know how to shoot them? And what's the point of giving jewels if they don't know how to use them? I'm free my niggas locked, I'ma hold it down. Sleep on mothers on their grind, trying to get a drink, get a drink, all my niggas. Hey, I like what she's talking about, but that last line, I don't know, I feel what you're saying when you said, what's the point of giving the jewels if they don't know how to use them? And I get it, you feel like you're wasting your breath, but you know, somebody's gonna be able to pick those jewels up. Even if somebody's making fun of the jewels that you drop, somebody else might pick them up and use them to their advantage and to progress themselves in life. So keep dropping jewels, Shay. Don't stop dropping the jewels. All right, we got track seven. This is Daddy's Girl. You know, sometimes growing up, I wish I could have been a daddy's girl. Yeah, sometimes, uh, wish you could have been a daddy's girl. A lot of us I already know where she's going with this. She said, I wish I could be a daddy's girl, but where I'm from, a lot of us ain't get to be that. I really hope in this song she busts into the myth of black uh, fatherhood in the black community because people think dads just be leaving. It's also about mass incarceration and the drug war as well. So, hope she hits on something like that. Where my daddy at? Daddy at daddy's girl. Ooh, she going in on you, bro. Man, I don't know what kind of relationship we got with, she got with her father, if any, but man, she is going in right now. Talking about there are only things that a dad's supposed to teach. I got my heart broke, where were you at? Hey, she going in right now, I love this. Deep Cuts, Top Songs 2020, Playlist. Where my daddy at? Why he never home with us? It's times I waited on my pops, I knew he wasn't showing up. Too young to comprehend it at that time, but now I'm to understand the damage from his absent presence growing up. Deep cuts, man. All right, we're on to track eight. This one's called Worth Gold. Let's get it. Worth diamonds in the gold, that's right. From a city full of... Yondo Music on YouTube has a beat very similar to this. I'm not, I'm not sure if they just use the same sample, but it sounds very similar. I wrote a song to this beat, man. That's crazy. I was an innocent teen who yeah, that's crazy. I wrote a song to this, pretty much this exact beat. Let me know if y'all know anything else about this beat on Worth Gold, because I know I wrote a song to this beat. All right, this one's called The Apple featuring Planet Asia. Let's get it. I don't know what her thing is with the Bible and how deep she is into religion, but she's made a lot of references to Adam and Eve and the tree and snakes. So she's, I don't know if that's one of the themes of this album or something that's just, you know, a story that's dear to her, but she references Adam and Eve a lot. Worry about it. I ain't sleeping on you. I know you probably have it figured out by time you really got to stand. 21 or 25 sneaking on you. Hardest pill to swallow dirt bags will be creeping on you. Hey, I like that verse to his daughter that was uh was that Planet Asia because that was dope. Uh just teaching her about how to be beautiful and what beautiful really means, and that you know, the one of the realest things that hits you is that dirt bags are always gonna be out there trying to get you, and you know. 
it's up to us men to stop that kind of culture, to stop rape culture, and make sure that women don't have to live in fear the way that they do now. Now she talking about the real definition of real, similar to what J. Cole was talking about at the end of For Your Eyes Only. Uh, you know, being real ain't always about what you see on TV or what you see, you know, in the media. Being real is about being a real person. And I mess with that. All right, this is the next song. This one's called Freedom. Now let's get into it. Daughter war is the meaning behind a message. You don't need a gun or sword if you treat your mind as the weapon. Our colors is hitting, the secrets teachers hide in their lessons. History books was full of people with white complexions. Reach the heights of destiny. Again, all the little entendres talking about our education system and mass incarceration and the things that I was hoping that she would talk about in this album, especially because it's affecting her community is the most and she's seeing it firsthand and it's nasty what they're doing to us. It's nasty what they're doing to our education system, to our jobs, to our communities. And it's it's nasty and it's gotta be called out. My age, my purpose was made. From my birth was determined for grade. The land of the free unless you black or you served in a cage. For my niggas behind the wall trying to learn to portray. You get free and they make it hard just to earn up a wage. You either return to the cage or get murdered in graves. That's the power how racist judges can turn us we That's exactly what she's talking about right there is the 13th Amendment. The judge can turn you to a slave with the pound of gavel or the wave of a pen. They turn you to a slave right there by putting you behind bars. And if you don't know, go check out the documentary 13th and go check out the 13th Amendment. It's not even a loophole. It's right there in the 13th Amendment. It says, except for when convicted of a crime. Do your research and you got to see what's going on in the black community, what's been going on for decades in our criminal justice system, our education system, and you gotta see why people are out in the streets, and you gotta see it. Most men, black men in jail, are in jail for non-violent, drug-related offenses. Facts. In other words, he was selling crack and heroin on the street because he couldn't find a decent job through which he could earn enough. Can't get welfare, can't get healthcare, can't get public housing, can't get student loans. So he breaks the law again and goes back we look at him. How about the Facts. system? Facts. Freedom is not free. I don't know who's speaking there at the end and at the beginning, but that's facts. All right, this next song is called Follow the Wisdom by Sky Zoo. Let's get into it. We grew up with daddy issues because we can't see our fathers and they waited too late to tell us about plan B's and condoms. No respect. That's a little Candace Owens talking point I like to hear about the black community is that, you know, the Planned Parenthood and the abortions are, you know, going way up in the black community, which if you look at the statistics, that might be true, but you don't understand that they wait way too long to teach them about contraceptives, wait way too long to teach them anything in sexual education. And this is not just in the black community. This is overall, especially in underfunded schools. And it's a huge problem. She touching on a lot of social and civil issues here. And I, I fucks with it. When he get caught, he fold and he tell what he learned on the stand. Still in the fire so long, I ended up burning my hands. Chick from the hood that's doing the Dell numbers. Hard to get you yeah. respect, unless your skin is a pale color. Life wasn't prepared for us. Yeah. Boys from the hood doing the Dell numbers. That's nasty. Ooh, hold on a second. She said, I'm on my high horse, so I made me a chariot. My family slayed by cops, but what's a slave when you harry it? High horse, so I made me a chariot. My family slayed by the cops, but what's a slave when you harry it? I never knew it was trapped. Pain made me aware of it, cause wisdom don't come from age, it come from pain and experience. He ain't my blood pops, but he been there for me since birth when he was Shout out. He would teach me and prepare me for the worst, cause wisdom the type of wealth you can't carry in a purse. Yeah, shout out to the step pops coming into the life early and teaching the kids, dropping the jewels. We appreciate it. Alright, next up we got track 12. This one's called Winter. Brain, a dangerous drug, you step between my legs when you safe. Ain't no pillow talking, you make your own bed where you lay. We on Hey, I think some of her best songs are her relationship, digging deep into her emotional bag. The pictures that she paints are crazy. And the way she describes her relationships and she describes her feelings and what's going on is absolutely unmatched. And she's absolutely a go for it. Another dope, deep cut relationship song from Shea Noir. Never understood when rappers get a nice hand and stacks. Then he spend it all on clothes and nice fancy bags. Keeps 
told me save your money. You could buy land with that, but if you go broke, don't try to blame the white man for that. They use our face as that's another thing we gotta address is you gotta know what you gotta do with your money. Once you get it, a lot of people, including myself, you know, you got to check yourself that you're not really broke. You're not really living paycheck to paycheck. You just spending your money wrong. We got to teach about finances at a younger age, teach responsible spending at a younger age. We need to invest our money instead of spending our money on depreciating assets. Drop them jewels, Shay. Talking to show blacks get support. We play dumb, but we know what it's actually for. Hey. Try by the pros. Hide by the chrome, get advice from the pros. I, I fucks with this God one. Say it's time to go. Took a pen, took Playlist. A I used to tell jokes in the classroom to cope with a bad mood. My ex told me stay alert. Same. They pull, gonna rash you. They pull you in for questions. Keep your mouth closed when they ask you. I used to tell jokes in the classroom to cope with a bad mood. And man, I couldn't tell you some teachers, some kids thought I was just, you know, class clown, jokester, yada, yada. But half the time it was because I was in a bad mood and I was kind of putting off the energy that I was needing. You know, I've seen some of the times where I was motivational on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, any sort of social media. I was putting out them quotes and it's really because I needed them the most. So, you know, you got to be that energy you want to see. Hey. Oh. You know that one's gonna be bumping. That hook goes in. Playlist, motherfucker. Hey. When I come through. Oh man, I already know that one's gonna be on repeat, man. All right, we've reached the end. This one is called '94. Hey. This is a perfect way to end the album and to close this project. A uh, song paying homage to all the rappers that she grew up listening to. You know, I've always wanted to make a song like this and I've always wanted to pay homage to the ones that inspired my style, inspired my flow, inspired my content, the, the words that I decided to put into my poetry and my art. Um, Tupac, the reason why I call it poetry and art, uh, you gotta read Tupac's po poetry books if you haven't yet because Tupac's poetry books are amazing. But, uh, you know, shout out to Shea Noir for paying homage to all her favorite rappers. Back when we used to burn mixtapes to go to the store. Back when Arcadia was lit, a place you go when you bored. I wrote my first 16 to a tribe called Quest B. Made my first beat inspired by a Kanye West beat. Hey. I remember watching Big <laughs> I wrote my first rhymes to a trap called Quest Beat. I made my first beat inspired by a Kanye West beat. That's <laughs> fire. Now I reminisce back when pork and peas and hot dogs was off the late Nino. Yeah. Your honey bun for breakfast. Mama playing was the 411. Hey, I'm going to mention you in them top five debates because, man, this is great. Five out. Hey. That's a great project, man. That's a great project. All right, so we've come to the end. Off that first listen, that's easily gotta be at least in the top 10, possibly the top five albums that I've heard this year so far. And you know, that's good company. That's Freddie Gibbs, Run The Jewels, and man, you know, just we've, we've been blessed with a lot of good music this year, but Shane Noir, Griselda, Benny the Butcher, 38 Special, West Side Gun. This is the type of music that I love. I'm so glad once again that I found him at the top of 2020 and that I got the rest of my life to listen to people like this. You know, I really think she's speaking her bars into existence by saying that she wants to be mentioned top five and you know, her bars are flawless. She's hopping on good beats. The quality is just increasing with every song and she's only gonna get better from here. So you know she's got my cosign. Peace. We talking about all of it. We talking about politics. We cranking the volume on all these albums then we can talk about the outcome. Live on Marcus. Talks, Marcus, talks, Marcus, talks, Marcus, talks.